so we got the dam broke apart. Only took us about five minutes this time compared to what, like 30 before. It also helps that we had the right tools this time. And it was just a lot smaller because it was kind of their temporary fix. So as you can see, we got it all broken apart. So the main channel is basically halfway between each side. It's actually only about a three foot creek, pretty small. So all this water is gonna drain out slowly. And just to make sure, there are a couple beaver here left, obviously because they rebuilt the dam. We'll set some 330s around their house because they will have to be active tonight in order to stop this from draining or else they're gonna have a bigger problem on their hands. And down there you can see still a little flooded down there, but that's just because it's still trying to drain out this massive quantity of water in front of us. So yeah, we'll go ahead and get some traps on their house. So we made it to the beaver dam here. So quite large. There's probably only a couple left. Beaver hut. Beaver hut, my bad. Um, so we're looking for the entrances. So we found one right here. And then there's also one over on that side that we'll set. And then there's most likely one more on here. Uh, typically they have right around three on a hut this big. So we'll go ahead and get those put down. So we got this first one in the water here. So we just have the two sticks anchoring it just to make it nice and easy for us. Sorry about the wind. It's pretty windy out, but don't really got a choice, gotta get this done. So we got that right there. We'll go ahead and put some guiding sticks because they have to come out. And then we'll set up on the other ones. So we're at the other side. So you can see the 1330 right over here, right over there. Can't tell how high the camera is right now. I'll move my head around. And then we have the other one right here that we're gonna go ahead and set. And then he's working on guiding for that opening over there since that one's really wide that's probably the main one that they use currently we gotta put in a guide just to make sure since they have a really wide berth so yeah we'll go ahead and get this one done and then we'll move over there so always keep your triggers with the safeties on until you're ready you don't want to have any mishaps especially with these out here. Very difficult to get off. So we'll go ahead, just move some of this duckweed out of the way for us. Make it a little easier. And then we'll go ahead, stick that stick right down. And then there's so much debris around, it basically funnels them on its own. So we actually don't have to do that much funneling. And then we'll go ahead and tie off here. I just use a quick link on the 330 chain since whatever goes in here most likely isn't going anywhere. But you always wanna make sure you aren't gonna have any problems. So we'll go ahead, see how long the chain is. It'll work perfectly fine going through one of these. We'll go through this one right here. Wrap it around. And then tie the quick link on. Just like that. And it's pretty cold out, so it kinda starts to eat away at your hands. It's supposed to warm up in the next couple days, go up to 50. Right now we're working with ice conditions, so kind of slows us down, but we should still be able to get this done. Hopefully we have some beavers tomorrow for you guys. And then we'll go ahead and figure out where we want all of our stuff here. I'll move that stick off to the side. I'll most likely put that one up a little bit. And then this one can actually get moved out since we'll just have the springs way out on the sides and as you can see hopefully you guys can see it's just gonna go straight down all the way to the bottom that's where you're wanting to put it since there's all this debris out here they're gonna stay close to the bottom on this set 
and then let's see where I got it here. And then on all my 330s, I have a little wire set up to hold my safeties back. A little trick that I got from 330 Maniac because that way it's not gonna come back down and interfere with your trap. So we'll go ahead, wipe off that hand, and swap back over here. We'll find our wire, which is right here. Clean that off so we can move this down, just like that. Move it back up, grab the wire, wrap it a couple times, and I'll keep it all the way. Almost got my glove underwater. Wouldn't have been fun. And then now it's set, it's ready to go, so you gotta be ultra careful here. So we're gonna move everything out of the way that could possibly set off this trap. Because as much as I like catching things in these, I don't feel like getting caught in one of these or having to reset one out here. So we'll go ahead, send it all the way to the bottom. Just like this. Re-anchor that stick. Keep moving that down. Perfect. So this one's all done. Basically it doesn't need anything else at most. I'll probably put this stick right here just to make sure they stay down if they do come around. But there's a bunch of logs and stuff just under the water line and then they'll come right out, pull right through here. They typically go right through that cross. And then yeah, we'll go ahead and get on to the next one here. So we got to the last opening on this beaver dam. So it has, or beaver house, my bad. We'll go ahead and actually get the trap set here, keeping the safeties on as always until you're ready to put it in the water. So I just use my knee, put it against an object, slam it down. I always use the first trigger spot, but I don't think it really matters. We'll go ahead and move it up because I know I'm gonna want my springs up quite a bit probably. Walk on over here. So what we'll do, we'll just set this down for right now. We'll find something nice and sturdy to tie this off to. Or something nice and heavy, like a big log. that down take this I forgot my quick links for this one so that makes it nice and fun so we'll just go ahead tie some granny knots since whatever's going in here most likely ain't moving but at least this way you're able to spot them So we'll go ahead, get this one ready. So you say it's right here? Yep. Right in here, perfect. We'll move this stick out. I'll grab that stick. Put it over here. myself some line 
Make sure this is where I want it before I take my safeties off. I'm gonna actually flip that around. I'm actually going to straighten that one out a little bit. Toss this one through. So that'll work. But I'm pretty sure that's deeper than I can go with my gloves. So we got to bring her back up. and take off the safeties. And tie them up nice and far away from where they can engage. Perfect. We'll actually straighten that one out a little bit. And this one will go straight down for me. And we'll just stick these sticks nice and deep. So this one actually has a natural barrier for it. So we actually don't have to put anything down. So there's this huge tree that they timbered to make into their home. And it comes right down, right underneath water level right here. So they actually swim underneath that log to get inside. So yeah, this one's all good. Those are just the four traps that we'll be putting out today for them. And then we'll also be walking through here, breaking this ice since we broke a hole in the dam get all this duckweed out of here and then hopefully tomorrow we're actually able to see exactly where the runs are even though we're pretty confident this will just confirm that so so we're back out here at the beaver dam just taking a look so we broke this out two days ago and then yesterday it went down far enough that we're able to put some 330s by their hut and then left them overnight we haven't checked them yet but it does look like they somewhat fixed it this time but not nearly as well as the day prior so that makes me think that there might be something in the traps um or it just was way too hard for them this time so we'll actually go ahead break this apart probably the last time or maybe one more time tomorrow and hopefully we got them all so so we got it all broke apart here, nice and wide, just like it was previously, flown real nice. You can see all the duckweed getting flown out. So we'll go ahead and go check the beaver traps and see if we got any. We got up to the beaver dam and it looks like three traps weren't hit. And then it looks like the last one was set off, but nothing was in it. So we'll go ahead and get this reset and hopefully we got something tomorrow so if you guys have any questions or any comments feel free to leave it down below always love to hear feedback from you guys and yeah thanks for watching